Hello everyone. This is a very quick haul, mini haul, unboxing. I have problems saying mini haul because, let's face it, I'm getting some paints and not just a few and <whistles> expensive. I rarely do this, getting tons of paints from a brand I haven't tried yet, but Jackson's, oh Jackson's, was having specials on watercolors and they just get you, they really do. I got some Zeki's pebbles, they're basically pure pigments, I'll put the details in, I wanted one that was sanguine and the other one that was gray and I was able to get them on special too but it was basically me being curious the items being on special and since I was already spending a small fortune I ended up getting them Now, you really shouldn't try these on regular paper. This was just random cartridge paper that I had laying around. The sanguine was beautiful. The gray was very dry. So I used some sandpaper. I think this is UART 400 or maybe 600. It's not the strongest or more coarse grit. The gray laid well. On sandpaper and of course the sanguine was beautiful I like the gray though even though it wasn't the most tinting it's a warm gray and now for the pièce de résistance this is the a gallo handmade watercolor paint collection of 48. When you get this from a gallo, it comes in a beautiful box. When you get them from Jackson's, they simply come enveloped in this plastic. Unfortunately, I had to cut through the sticker because I just it couldn't peel off as I pulled and pulled and it wouldn't come out. A little bit of information on the paints and I think this is meant to be an information card there wasn't any note from the person who set it up I know sometimes when you get handmade items that enveloped by or prepared by with the name of the person this didn't come with that the box comes in this handmade marbled paper from Italy absolutely gorgeous I also don't know what I'm gonna do with it other than keep it aside so I can put it back on the box someday the tin is one of those very thin not very strong tins not not similar to the Windsor Newton or Wischmincke strong hard super durable tins these are like the meat and tins, very average, but it does what it needs to do. Interestingly, it has that little sticker that says uh, choking hazard because yes, the paints look absolutely adorable and if you could unwrap them and eat them, they are tempting. It came with a Tintoretto mop brush it's a synthetic one. I'm not used to synthetic mop brushes. All the ones I have are Raphael with real squirrel. I'm not a big mop brush girl. I like my rounds and I like them snappy. It comes with a sheet to do your color chart, 
which I will use, and I believe this is Fabriano paper, so it's good paper. And look at this, look at, they're beautiful. In any case, this, like I said, was simply an unboxing. In the next video, you will see me swatching these colors. So join me next time. Ciao.